Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Sniffbot here. Welcome back to another video in our Planet Zoo franchise mode, Zoo. Uh, we're back with episode 8, I think it is, which I'm glad about because I really like the series. And in the last video, we made a pretty nice looking enclosure for the adorable little common wombat here. Look at him. Uh, we also gave him another wombat just as a mate, so uh, yeah. We've been doing all this, and we also added some more Australia decorations to the Australia area, as well as a food court. It's got toilets, food and drinks, uh, just some decorations and picnic benches, stuff like that. Uh, anyways, in today's video, um, we are going to be making, drumroll please, an enclosure for the African Wild Dog. Which was suggested once again by Superbrand1234. So I'll shout I'll leave a shout out for him. And also we are going to spend some more obviously Africa decorations. So I've already done a little bit of research on these. We need about I think it was three thousand or so square meters. Yeah, about three thousand five hundred square meters. Because the maximum pack size is twenty seven adults. So we will do that. And we've already got a bit of enrichment sorted for it, so all I've already got to do is try and find a nice little area to put it. Maybe somewhere like up here. It might flatten some area down here. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Guys, our make that's about to die. Apparently. Even though it's not even elderly. He had a good life, I guess. So... I mean, to be fair, it is that animals do age five times slower on the zoo. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Rest in peace, meerkat. You had a good life while it lasted. Goodbye. Anyways, back to the wild dog habitat. I'm deciding to actually build the habitat before I put the null barriers down, or whatever barriers I use. So, so far I've just got this little sort of mesh dome. With a little doorway, which I'm basically just gonna make a big area out around here for the wild dogs to just hang around in. So, I just gotta think of what else to do, and I'll try and make some more things, obviously. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so, I've made quite a bit of progress, so, um, I kinda got the shape of the enclosure done pretty big as you can see and if you check this it's got more than enough space for a full pack of wild dogs I also put down a rock and hidden a food tray in there I'm trying to do that to make it look a little bit more natural I guess and I got a little puddle here a big white lake over here with an island in the middle and now I'm making like a guest viewing area before I start on the rest of the barriers because I'm still not entirely sure what to do for the barriers yet apart from just these plaster cone things in the North Africa pack, but yeah, as I said, I'm, make, I'm making some progress. Um, once this is done, I will get back to you guys, and yeah, that's what I really have to say. Alright, so, I've got a bit of a new sort of idea for the fence. I'm keeping in the plaster bits, instead of putting like a rock barrier, I'm basically putting in another like little sort of mesh bit. Just, yeah. Just looks like this. Kind of simple. So, yeah, it's not, there's not really much for me to talk about. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep getting this like just copied over and get it around the habitat and I'm gonna start decorating around it and putting in some like nature and stuff. Then I'll buy some of the wild dogs and move them in. So, yeah. Alright, so, I'm pretty much done with the actual, like, habitat thing. There's basically just some areas underneath some of the mesh where it's literally just air, so I'm filling them up with the rocks to make sure the wild dogs can't escape when I put them in, so, yeah. Apart from that, we're nearly done, so next clip you see, I'll probably be moving them all in. So that's going to be exciting. 
And now, the outer barrier is done. I've filled in all of the little spaces below the rocks. So now, hopefully, once I move the animals in, they won't be able to escape. And, well, what I really need to do now is decorate around the outside and also might do a bit of decoration inside. And then, yeah. So, if I go to construction, if I go theme, African and North African. And hopefully we should be able to get a bunch of things in. So that'll be pretty cool. I might put in another, like, I don't know, Safari Jeep. You know, let's just go with that. Yeah, there we go. And I'll put in some more decorations around here. Try and give it that proper, like, African sort of theme. And I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so... I've added some more, like, Africa themed, like, plants and decorations. Mainly across the entire thing. Like, I've just put in some, like, acacia trees, things like that. And over at the actual wild dog habitat, I've basically just put down, again, a lot more African themed plants just all around. I made a couple like little camp areas, made like a pack of meerkats over here, a, a campsite over here with a broken down car. Um, basically, added the giraffe neck statue, the North African fountain, another sort of campsite, gorilla statue, um, three elephants, another jeep, uh, a little sort of village over here. And then a lion with a giraffe in his calf, that little watering hole here, and another jeep behind this elephant grass over here. So, uh, what I want to do next, I'm going to actually like probably put some rocks into this enclosure, just to see how we can do with it. So, if I go to biome, put on desert and grassland again, and just go straight to rocks, then, yeah, I'll put down a, probably a few more of those, just dot them around the enclosure, and then once I actually buy the dogs and move them in, then I will start doing the actual plant coverage. So, yeah, as I said, gonna make a start on this, and I'll be back when I'm done. Right, so, after like five minutes and also having a second meerkat die, um, I've just put in a bit of a random, like, rock. Thing, just like placement, just put them in random places. So that's that pretty much done. I'll, I'll probably add some more rocks in later. But for now, I think it's about time we buy our wild dogs. So if they go into packs of, I think it, hold on, if I go to Zookedia, to 27 males up to 9 females. So if I get, and it does say that only the alpha male and female reproduce, so I'm going to say two males and one female, something like that. I'm trying to find like this one, I'm trying to get one, maybe two with good stats. So there's our two males. Oh, how much were they? I didn't even look. Um, anyways, let's try and find another female with good stats. Where are this one? There we go. So that's three African wild dogs. Uh, so first up, we're going to send them to quarantine. And once they've finished, we'll send them into the zoo. And while I'm off camera, I'm going to quickly make like a little, I guess, sort of work area for the wild dogs and just put that in the actual work zone. So, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Oh, 
Okay, so all of our wild dogs have just finished quarantine, and I have also made an African work zone just at the back of the enclosure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this up to five times speed, move these guys into their new enclosure, and they should be here pretty soon, hopefully. Yeah, here comes the first one now. Here we go. It is our first one. Okay, this guy actually looks really cool. I've never actually made an enclosure for these guys yet, so... Yeah, this does look really good. Plus this counts as hard shelter, I think, so that's 100% on that. Either that or it's the fucking tree, so... Yeah. So I'm gonna basically just add some shells, add some like bed and stuff to this, put some enrichment, and maybe also put around some donation boxes, and then I'll be back when that's done. So yeah. All right. So I just made like a couple more changes to the habitat, basically just putting in more plants, adding a proper roof to like the sort of bedding area, filled it with bedding, obviously. Uh, I've also put around some of the enrichment I already had from researching other animals, so that's been done, and I think we've got a pretty nice habitat here. All of the wild dogs seem happy. We'll obviously have to add more as we... Oh, okay. Yeah, as I was saying, we obviously will have to include, like, more, sort of, um, enrichment as we get more dogs in here. But yeah, for now, I'm liking this. It looks good. Oh, we haven't got guests going there at the moment, so I'm going to add some food shops up here, just to try and encourage them up here, because, yeah, I want them to see the wild dogs, so. I'll probably just put some, like, where are they? A, a drink stool and a food stool, like, just, the, just the counter. And, yeah, because thirst and hunger seem to be the things that... Uh, I guess it's like, yeah, mostly one thing. So, I'll put that one there, and then I put. I'm gonna go with cheap beef. There we go. So yeah, now that should be all good. I'll I'll put those to the Africa work zone. There we go, and I'll also add them to the zoo work zone. Stuff I find uh, no work zone Africa, no work zone Africa, and there we go. That should be pretty much everything. Hopefully, we can start getting some guests to come up here because if I can't, that's going to be quite annoying. But yeah, that's everything for now. Um, all I've got to do is add some more donation boxes when I find like the popular place in the habitat, so... Right, so I've just realised this dog is called Dakarai, which sounds kind of like a certain Pokemon's name. As you know, I do a few Pokemon videos on the channel, mainly just going over Pokemon news and stuff. And that, obviously, I'm a fan of Pokemon, so... I'm only going to go the whole way and rename this guy to Darkrai. Because, A, it's one of my favourite Pokemon, it's just fucking awesome. See, these are, these guys are fucking awesome as well. So yeah, we have a Pokemon in our suit now. So that's also pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe. I post planetary videos weekly. Uh, comment down below what animal you want to see next, because as you can see, our zoo is genuinely starting to get pretty big. Well, uh, quite a few different animals. Like in the jungle dome, the reptile house, some nice big enclosures, and like dining areas, things like that. And I genuinely want to know what you guys would want to see next, especially since we're getting quite a lot of money as well. So we can just add any animal you guys want to. So, yeah, comment down below what you want to see next, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, I